Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Um, listen, I just want to say that this is a real thrill for me. I'm a huge fan of the Matrix films, and getting to talk to you guys is amazing. Uh, I know you've been asked a lot of questions, and I'm going to hopefully ask something no one has asked, which is I laughed so loud when I saw Chad playing uh, uh, your husband. Handsome Chad. Right, handsome Chad. I I, I couldn't believe I was what I I, I just laughed my ass off. And most people won't realize who Chad is, uh, but it's full circle because he worked on the first one um, and I'm not going to get to talk to Lana. So how did Chad end up playing handsome Chad and getting to be in the film? <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, I think that they have a, a real affection for each other. And I know that, you know, Chad always describes going to Wachowski film school. Uh, Chad was uh, my stunt double on the trilogy. And, um, and um, I think that Lana, the director and writer, appreciates Chad and his filmmaking. And there was a lot that Lana was trying to interweave in terms of life and art for all of the people in the film and artists in the film. And I think for her, it gave her a chuckle that Chad was the husband <laughs> to Trinity's count, uh, matrix counterpart right uh i i had a blast with it um for both of you i am curious you guys have done so many tough scenes to film in these movies um and for for each of you which sequence or scene ended up being the one when you were filming it you're like get the f out of here how are we actually going to do this and i am totally nervous to film i i think i mean i think the leap is probably you know what came to mind was the goo Oh, the goo. Uh, you know, like, because yeah. we're up there and we knew it was going to be hard, the, the jumping off the building, but but we were so ready and it was so right. like, yeah, but the goo was... The pod. So the we're pod. talking about the pods that uh, the Trinity and, and Neil live in, in the machine world. So there's these tubs full of goo <laughs> that we try to get the temperature right, but you're in it for eight hours a day with tubes and things and <sighs> being sealed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do it because we're there. We're professional. We want to tell the whole story. But yeah. that was challenging. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's very, un yeah. It's not as sexy and fun as leaping off a building. Yeah. Lying in goo for eight <laughs> hours, submerged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my last question for you guys. Um, Trinity means so much to so many people. Uh, and I'm just curious, when did you each realize uh, the what Trinity means to so many people? Yeah, I mean, you can speak to that. I don't know. I mean, when did you first realize it? I mean, I saw it as soon as I met Carrie Ann, but, uh, and the role. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I think, I think the Wachowskis, I feel the Wachowskis love Trinity. And I think they might love Trinity the most. And I think, I think we see that, we feel that. You know, with her introduction in the film, with her fierceness, with her strength, uh, with her wisdom, and with her love in her heart. And, you know, I, I, I hear all the time just how much Trinity changed a lot of women's and a lot of people's perspective in life, like a kind of champion and inspiration for them. Yeah, I feel like I, I can't quite feel the question some for some reason um it's not that I, I i intellectually i guess can remember people talking to me that way but it doesn't feel like when i hear it when somebody says to me that like it, through the press junket i'm mm. i'm moved by it but i i can't say that i that i know that if that makes sense yeah because you're trinity <laughs> <laughs> I completely get it. Listen, I got to stop. Uh, I just really want to say congrats on the new movie and thank you so much for giving me your time. Thanks. Thank you.